<laughs> I think I'm recording. Recording? Okay. The real behind the scene scene. That's terrible. His promo was like, the ladies love my lips. Wait, Ben said that? This should be fun because this is gonna be off cuffed. Maybe Ben will show up in a in a costume or or maybe he'll he won't even have a shirt on better yet. Let's just do it. And three, two, one, go. It's throwback Thursday time with April and Mercedes. Welcome to Throwback Thursday time. I'm April Wilkner. And I'm Mercedes Yvette. And today we're excited to welcome to TT Time Cycle 21 top model alum, Ben Shreen. Ben competed in the first guys and gals cycle with social media scoring. And he's fondly remembered as the quadruple threat from Iowa. Yes, because he can sing, dance, act, and play guitar. No, what was the other one? Model. Like oh. <laughs> Ben here. I'm going to let him in. Oh no! He's <laughs> Hi, Ben! Hi, Ben! I'm yes. There we go. All right. Hi, Ben! Yo, how are you doing? Welcome! Yeah, that was super weird. Sorry. About We're in. We're doing You're it. You're fine. Did you bring All a drink? Right. I sure did. What you got? What do you see? Whoa, that is a really a big mug. Uh, a Star Wars cup there, you know. Awesome. That's our first unique Star Wars cup of the show. My, sure. Cheers. Amazing. My first sip. Cheers. Cheers. To Welcome to our Throwback Thursday time party. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Of I'm course. honored to be here. We were excited. But let's jump right into jump your right Throwback in. Thursday photo. Walk us through that time, your hair, you sigh, and episode six. Mm hmm. I kind of knew, you know what, going in, once they said, hey, Ben, you want to wear the blonde wig? I go, yeah, I'm getting voted off this week. You know? <laughs> I'm getting, I'm, this is it for me. You know, it was fun, guys, while I said, no, I was honestly, I'm like, all right, let's do it. Hey, Golden Thundy, what's up? Uh, I just called it, you know, Golden Thunder was my name, and um, I rocked it, if I do say so myself. I feel like they pick the photo. If they want you to leave, like I wasn't getting into the drama very much. So I feel like if they want you off, they're just going to pick like a mediocre photo and then see ya. I completely but, agree. I think yeah. you were sabotaged because everyone else had cool hair. And even I think one of the sound bites was like, oh, the hair, you know, like uh, Massimo, I think, took your shot. Mm -hmm. And he was saying the hair is not good. And it wasn't you. It was just like, you can't do anything because you have this big weed whacker in the front. And then all you could do is flip flop yeah. it. And you were practicing. Like, I feel for you. There's two ways, because we're all top model alum here. We know this, the scoop. There's two ways you can get sabotaged on top model. Number one, what they give you, right? As far as your hair, your costume. So they totally threw you under the bus there. But number two, I don't believe they chose your best video because we saw the footage of you on set. And I'm sorry, you were doing some good stuff, even though the comments were like, oh, he doesn't know how to be a model. I was watching going, he looks friggin' awesome. And then they choose this terrible photo. So I don't buy that that was your best pull from the shoot at all. So I think right. he was double sabotaged. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> And I still cry myself to sleep at night. Um, <laughs> no. Yeah. No, I was just kidding. Yeah. I'm totally. There's a lot of underwear photos of you out there, Ben. We, we, we have no shortage of that. Um, so we're going to do a little montage, I'm sure. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. I've noticed with your season, they definitely had the money, but it didn't seem like they had the money because they were putting you guys in silly string and water and i'm like all those things are free like where is the where's the amazing set and i'm like do they do yeah. they not have money like what is going on what was you guys' favorite like uh pose or you know most as like complex photo shoot that you guys did your season i think mercedes i don't know how what you think i think the hardest photo shoot for us was the underwater one it stung right 
Yeah. And nobody looks good underwater. Everyone gets bloated. Like every, you, there's no amazing photo shoots that are up close, like for high fashion. You always have like beautiful gowns underwater because it's more about the drama and the cinematic feature, mm -hmm. but no one ever takes photos like this because you look like this underwater. Oh, like super right. Nice. <laughs> um, and we also had kind of like a spider web similar series when we were um, in that coffee factory in Hoboken, New Jersey, represent. Um, it was in my own hometown, so it was kind of cool. Nice. I mean, I'm from West New York, but anyway, I digress. And we had, um, we were strapped uh, five stories up and it was like oh, really cool. uncomfortable because it was right in on our crotch. Yeah. yeah. And we had to do the same thing, hold the pose. I remember your pose, April, is something like this with that black and white skirt. Blade Runner. But the worst part for that shoe, you got, you had pants, Mercedes. Mm -hmm. So I had major camel toe. <laughs> but at least, you had, at least you had the fabric to protect you. Any girls who had a skirt or a dress like me, that wire went just literally a layer of underwear was the only thing protecting us. It's, it's a flower. It's not a steel plate. <laughs> um, yeah, that, I think those two were the hardest for sure. But so after the throwback photo, we usually take our guests during like a back on a journey through the last 20 years of life because it's a throwback show. Obviously for you, you're a little younger than some of our guests. So we're really interested to see what your journey has been like post cycle 21 of Top Model. What have you been up to? What's your experience been? Wow, um, a lot, a whole heck of a lot. Since Top Model, I've uh, been on a really cool faith journey, um, trying, to, trying to get more, you know, trying to live more like Jesus. Um, other than that, I mean, and, and it's been up and down for sure. Other than that, um acting singing trying to make music i've been like making more music lately i've been uh um just trying to get more into that um with acting i was on this show called how to be a vampire it was on the cw seed um so i got to be great like, in it we yeah, watched. You, oh, were good. you were amazing we watched your clips yeah <laughs> yeah you're a great actor you are thank you most people don't know that before top model you were a state basketball championship and all state singer. Dang, you're going in. Okay, you're, a little throw that up. Throw that up. Quadruple <laughs> threat. I mean, yeah, talk yeah. about high school musical, the real deal. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Tell me about that. That's like amazing. First of all, I, I played basketball in high school. I'm a huge hey. advocate of being an athlete, but you're also a singer. They're like completely contrast yeah we we won the state championship my senior year by like 26 points so like the biggest margin in a championship it wasn't even close um yeah it was amazing i played two years in college after that and then i got hurt so i transferred to a a, a, a bigger school and just sang choir um there and then it was a comm major so a little bit back to like your time on top model um you were paired um, in the promo ads for Cycle 21 with a model named Chantel, mm -hmm. who is now known as Winnie Harlow, right? Is that correct? Yes, yes. Okay. Are you aware of like the controversial thing she has said about her time on Top Model? No. I can fill you in. Okay. So Winnie- Let's spill some tea here. Yeah, so Winnie went on Watch What Happens Live and she said, quote, my success started after the show because that really didn't do anything for my career, which it doesn't do anything for any model's career, realistically. And she got a lot of clap back from Tyra on that. And it, it kind of started a little bit of a feud. So you didn't know about it. Obviously, now you do. What, what would you say your thoughts are on what she said about Top Model? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I think it's different for every person. I think if like, if you get into too much of the drama, it can definitely not be good for you. Um, but as far as if you just stay true to yourself, like I really don't, and I, I love Chantel or Winnie. I love, I love her. We really bonded like, uh, cause we both got voted off around the same time. And then we got voted back on like further into the competition. Um, but I got like, it's crazy. Cause the, the season before they brought a guy and a girl back to like go 
um, get, get back in the competition because I did the best in like the loser bracket and she did the best in the loser bracket for the girls. And then they brought us back together and they're like, oh, congratulations, Ben and, and Chantel, y- y'all are both back. And I was like, all right, sweet. And then it's like, actually just kidding, Ben, uh, you can pack your belongings in a couple of <laughs> And such a and that I'm, so you messed know, up. And I'm like, what, Tyra? Don't play me like that. So it's all good. Like we, you know. Uh, but I don't honestly. I didn't know. Like now that you say that about about Winnie, like I I vaguely remember seeing something, but I have nothing bad to say about her character. I think she's an amazing person. But um, yeah, and I think you know, like some people did get into the more of the drama. But I will say, Denzel. Uh, he got kind of into some drama, but like he's doing great as an actor. So um, yeah, I don't think it like I think it can only, in my opinion, I think it can only help you and um, if you're, unless you like headbutt somebody like Romeo, then that's you know kind of crossing the line. Um, I think you really summed it up. You were just basically saying that it's very catered to the individual and you can take it and let's take, use it as a platform or, you know, say that it never helped you. And, you know, it's all the way you think, right? Your mindset. Um, mm-hmm. Speaking and, about your season, you were the first to have social media scoring, mm-hmm. which we thought was so interesting because after April and I got off um, America's Next Top Model, we we didn't really have social media until like maybe it didn't exist. Later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we kept getting ads. And if I only knew then, I was such a private person. I didn't like, I was like, no, deny, deny, deny. I don't know you, deny. Like, how was that like opening up to like so many people? Like, what was that experience? Like, did you have your phone? Because we didn't have our phone on the show. Man, um, no, we didn't have our phone. We didn't have We couldn't, we only had like one call per two weeks or something. Yeah, we didn't have our phones. We had no touch to the outside world. The social media aspect after, after the show, like when it came out, I mean, Instagram was, it was starting to gain more storm, like more people were on it. So yeah, it was kind of crazy. It was kind of a whirlwind for sure. Did you say America's Next Top Model helped grow your social media status? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went from like 500 to... I got up to like 120,000. Now I'm at like 80 something. Um, but it, cause it, I just stopped posting. And if you like, you know, it just goes down after a while. Oh, um, algorithms. It's yeah, just, yeah. It's just so interesting, the difference, because like obviously all three of us have in common that we are on top model, but the irony Mercedes and I were talking about is we're, you know, reviewing your cycle is, it was the social media scoring cycle. It was all about that. And when we were filming our season of Top Model, the word social media didn't even exist. Oh, I like your setup, April. I see what you're doing here. (laughs) So it shows you what an evolution (laughs) Top Model has had in all of the cycles. We always like to play a game with everyone who comes on our show, especially with actors like you who are really good at deception, Mercedes. Yes. so why don't we play a game that we like to call Two Truths, One Lie where you tell us three things about yourself and two of them are true. So we're putting you on the spot. You ready to play? And we'll guess the one. Let's play, let's do it. Okay, you know the game. (laughs) Okay, thinking caps on. Thinking caps on, let's do it. down. Let's do it guys. April, Mercedes, get ready, here we go. All right, so I once wiped my behind with poison ivy. I uh, never, I've never, I'm from Iowa, but I've, I've never tipped a cow. Or there's a um, secret blue bag hidden in your room, Mercedes, behind the mirror with instructions on how to get to your surprise virtual birthday party. Starting now. What? I don't like surprises. Welcome to phase two of this episode of Throwback Thursday Time 3D virtual birthday party for Mercedes. What? We'll just wait for you right here, Mercedes. Uh, It says directions, put on 3D glasses in the box. Obviously with everything going on in the world, it's hard for people to get together and be in the same room. So we Mm -hmm. wanted to bring everyone in the world who wants to celebrate with Mercedes into her room so that she can see them in 3D. So, what? 
follow the link to your virtual surprise B-Day party. Happy birthday, queen. Queen. <laughs> Cheers. Your Cheers. Hold baby. on. <laughs> Put my margarita. Woo! As, long as, as long as you're wearing these glasses, it'll feel like everyone's there. Okay. I'm no. pressing play. Oh my god. So here's the deal. We don't have a lot of time, right? And it's your birthday. I want to make sure you, Mercedes, have a happy of happiest of birthdays because we love you. We want you to have a good time. Despite what the hell's going on out there, you should have the best day of your effing life. You hear me? I agree. Go out and do it. Yes. Happy birthday, my oh, friend. Finesse. What's up, Mercedes? Happy birthday, Mercedes. Oh. I hope today is a great fucking day. I hope this year is the best fucking year. Happy birthday, Mercedes. Happy birthday, Mercedes. Happy birthday, Mercedes, all the way from amazing Hawaii. Mercedes, Mercedes, oh. it's me, Tom Lake. Tom. And I'm here to say happy birthday oh. to you. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Wow. Happy birthday, dear Mercedes. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God, Trevor. He's dancing. Happy birthday, Mercedes. Hey, Merce. Hi. Happy birthday from me and... Happy birthday! <laughs> oh, Charles! But you too. are the best, best friend a best friend could have. Yeah. I want to wish you a super, super, wow, super April. amazing journey around this really world. I'm really impressed. One more time. And uh, I can't wait to see what happens. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Come on, birthday. Go, go. I celebrate you. Keep living your best life. Keep shutting down a life game because you a boss. Feliz cumpleaños, I'm Gracias. Mercedes. I want to tell you happy birthday. Mercedes, <laughs> happy birthday. I value you as a friend so much, and I hope you truly have a great day. I hope you feel celebrated, and I'm just so happy you're in my life. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mercedes. Kevin. Uh, sorry, okay. I can't talk in this thing. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mercedes. I wish I could give you a really big hug, but unfortunately, you know, keep your distance. I hope your day is filled with lots of oh fun God. activities and lots and lots of tequila. Uh, keep that energy up because the world needs more people like you. I agree. Happy birthday, beautiful girl. I hope you are having the most wonderful day. I love you so much. I am sending you so much love, light, happiness, health to you and your beautiful family. And cheers to another trip around the sun for you. I can't wait to celebrate with you when it's safe. I think you are what? a gem of a human. This is insane. The show. And overall, just have a great day. Just relax a bit. Relax a bit. Okay. Do it. I'll relax. Hi, Mercedes. <laughs> Happy birthday. I hope you're doing well and making the best of today with your family despite everything that's going on. And I just wanted to send you love, some well so wishes, thoughtful. and I hope that we can see each other sometime soon it? in the future. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, I'm here Nate. in my mom's garden next to these sunflowers. I love sunflowers. And sunflowers. think about you because you're just like a beautiful sunflower just soaking in all the awesomeness of life and the world. I hope you get everything that you hope Come and wish on. for. Speaking of wishes, you could use your birthday wish to get rid of COVID-19. <laughs> you deserve a great birthday and I hope someone bakes you a cake, and if there's no one there to make you a cake, I hope you bake one yourself. You've got people, you're I, gonna be fine. Thank it's you. gonna be great. <laughs> I have a faith that you're gonna have a great good day. You are one of the most caring good and thoughtful and creative people I've ever known. And I'll never forget, we started our season one together. That's right. Two different shows in New York City. So we're down like four flat tires and I wish you nothing but the best. Aww. To you, McCoy, Mike, and the whole family Aww. on your special day. Happy birthday, mommy. <gasps> you, gave, you. you gave me the pizza cake. Oh! <laughs> Happy birthday to the best mommy on earth. Oh, oh, and I'll uh, love you. a kiss. Oh, that's so thoughtful. Thank you so much, you guys. You're Aww. welcome. I barely cry, but if you could see under these glasses, I have some tears. The tears of joy. Oh, man. That was very well, thoughtful. No one has ever done that, and I really appreciate Now I like surprises. Wow. Thanks, April. You are scary how you got everyone. <laughs>
<laughs> that's scary. <laughs> that's scary. Um, what a bomb. How you got in my room? <laughs> that's an awesome. Anyway, Ben, April, you great know, work. thank you. And Ben, you know you're a special friend to us. You're not just a top model alum. So we wanted someone special to be here who also knows almost all the people on her video. So thank you. Uh, um, and just to, to close out our, our show, our birthday special edition, I know our TTT fam's going to want to know where they can follow you and listen to your music, Ben. Where can they find you? You can follow me on Instagram at Ben Shreen um b-e-n-s-c-h-r-e-e-n -E -E like tv screen with an h uh same with youtube if you want to do a little acapella happy birthday for mercedes just just wondering just wondering sure let's do it dear mercedes happy birthday to you wow um, I miss I miss you guys. <laughs> I miss you too. Yeah, yo, it's, you guys are always just such a breath of fresh air to see. Honestly, honest to God, man. Every time I see you guys, it's just like refreshing. So I just wanted to let you guys it's glow. The same way. That's why we wanted you on the show, and oh, mainly thanks. why we wanted you at her birthday party. Yeah. Night. Thanks. Bye. Love you. Bye. I love you. April, that was so <laughs> intrusive. <laughs> Can you believe we pulled it off? Yeah, Love. from the something's hidden in my room. Yeah. This is clearly our new cup. That, yeah, right? Perfect. I'm, and I'm Mercedes Yvette. And thanks for spilling the tea and celebrating my birthday. Exactly. And the crown and the tiara were perfect. Man, I love it. All right, well, I'm going to edit this now. Okay. All right. Love, love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yep. Bye. Let's get it. It's Throwback Thursday time with April and Mercedes.